Hello everyone, in this particular lecture, we are going to learn about DOOM in JavaScript. Well, DOOM stands for Document Object Model and your JavaScript uses the DOOM to read, change or delete elements on the page like text, images, button, etc. So let's understand that how DOOM works and how we perform the task using DOOM manipulation step by step. Let's start. Now let's first understand the definition of DOOM. Well, DOOM stands for document object model and DOOM is a tree-like structure which is created by a browser for every HTML page. Now what is this tree-like structure? Let me show you. As you can see here, this is the whole structure of your browser, right? On the top, we are having a document. What does this document is? Well, document is basically this whole page. Your whole browser page indicates a document. Inside of this, we run our HTML. That's why the root element inside this document is a HTML tag, right? And if you see here in our HTML page, on the top, we are having a HTML. Inside of this, we are having a head and a body, right? Yeah. So as you can see here, here I'm having the root element as HTML. Inside of this, we are having a head and a body. Now your head contains your title. Yeah, I think you know this. And your body contains all different elements of your whole website, right? Now, if I say that I'm having this uh, two elements, that is H1 and button, right? Two different elements in my website, as you can see here also, that inside this body, I'm having a main and uh, here you can see that I'm having two different elements that is h1 and the button now if I want that on the click of this particular button the content inside this h1 get changed the content inside this h1 get changed like here in the h1 it is written my link and on the click of this button it will show your link let's say let's take this example right so how it can happen how we can do this well it can be done using your DOOM that is the document object model. Let's understand it further that JavaScript can use DOM to read, change or delete elements on the page. As I told you earlier also that with the help of button, we were changing the content of the H1 tag. Similarly, here I am written the change and you can also read the content or you can delete the content or elements on the page. So why we use DOM in the JavaScript? Well, DOM is used to change web page content dynamically, right? On the click of the button dynamically, like right? instantly, the content should get changed, right? To handle user inputs uh, and for adding and removing HTML elements and to style the page. Yes, we can also change the CSS of our website with the help of the DOM. So we will understand everything in this today's lecture. Let's start and let's code. Now let's understand the example of your DOM manipulation. Well, I'm not going to write the code of DOM manipulation in this external JavaScript page. I'm going to use this internal JavaScript, which is a script tag here, right? Now I'm going to write all my functions and code inside of it. Uh, the reason is that I want you to uh, observe that how my HTML and JavaScript page are working together, right? Yeah. So. Uh, as you can see here, I'm having this HTML page inside of this. I'm having two different elements that is input and a button, right? Now let's change, change something about input. That is the type is text. Okay. Uh, let's give it a ID, which is called a uh, name input. And uh, let's give a placeholder also. Now the placeholder, uh, instead of which let's write type your name. Fine. Let's see that how it is looking on our website. So as you can see here, this is something which we are going to get on our website. It don't look very cool, but okay. Uh, like we just need to understand the concept this time, right? Okay, fine. So uh, this is your input and this is the button. Fine. Now let's uh, do something. Let's create a paragraph also. And let's give it a ID uh, greeting. Fine. Yeah. Now I'm going to use the dome inside this script tag and let's create a function here like function and the function is that greet user and let's create the whole syntax of it. Now in the first step, I'm going to uh, take the input using the dome, right? Whatever the input you are uh, 
writing here inside the input tab button here whatever you will return right here I'm going to take that inside my variable for that let name equals to first we will use document as I told you right everything that you see on the browser is inside the document the document D should be in small letter fine okay it was showing error because I didn't put the equals to fine now write document dot get element element by ID why I'm writing this well inside this document means inside the whole page of the browser I want to take a very particular element and for getting that element I'm going to use a address like ID as an address as you can see here this is your ID now with this ID I can identify that I need this I'm calling this input field right my JavaScript is calling this input field with the help of this ID so I'm, I have written get element door by ID then I put a bracket inside of this I write the name of the ID right so that is name input fine yeah now whatever the uh, this input field will have that will come inside the value right so whatever I am writing here that's a value of your input field so with this first I will call the document the whole browser page and then I'm using this ID to address this input field and then I'm using this value to get the value which is written inside this input field right and whatever the value it will be it get stored inside this name variable fine so this was your first line of do fine yeah so the second in the second uh, we will get the greeting paragraph greeting paragraph means this right for that I'm going to use this ID so let output equals to document dot get element by ID and I put a bracket instead of this I will write the ID of this paragraph that is greeting so I will copy paste it here fine right now I got this paragraph also fine okay yeah I got the address of it now what I want to do is to set custom messages fine so whatever the value I will get by the input field I want to put that inside this paragraph how it will be done think about it yeah okay fine so for that like let me write here set custom messages now for that what I can write I will write output output is this variable right output dot inner text inner text not HTML inner text what is this inner text means since your output has this paragraph and the whatever I will write here this is your inner text right now since I'm not having any inner text here so when I write this inner text it is not getting anything from here it is getting a blank right but this is what we want to change this is what I want to change so by using output dot inner text it is getting or it is showing this particular portion where I'm not having anything right yet so I want here to write hello and then I want a name so whatever the name I will get from the input field I want it here and then I want to say that uh, welcome to JavaScript right you can write anything which you want so by using this if I I click on this particular button now I want that whatever the input whatever the name you have put in this input field will get inside this paragraph now how this can be done well for that we need to call this greet user right and greet user will be called every time when I click on this button for that we what we can do is that just put here on click now on the click of this button it will call the greet user function as you can see here on the click on the click of this button it is calling the greet user function right now let's go on our website and so write something here like Piyush Gupta 
and when I click here what do you, what do you think I'm going to get let's click as you can see here I'm getting hello Piyush Gupta welcome to JavaScript right if I change the name I say that Ayush so if I click here then hello Ayush welcome to JavaScript we have done a mistake that I should include a gap also here fine yeah so let's write the name Ria fine now I click on it so it's saying that hello Ria welcome to JavaScript how it is done like how the, uh, the paragraph is changing its content or its inner text dynamically with the help of just clicking this button how it is working well it is working with the help of your DOM manipulation so for uh, working with DOM you need to understand this that we work with this document inside of this first we call the elements right and we store it inside the variable now every time we just when we call any element of HTML right and we store it inside a variable then we perform our main logic which is like this this is just a simple one example of it there are a lot of examples and a lot of project a very large project are also built or using the DOM manipulation very easily so for that you need to practice a lot of project for that yes but my my main agenda for today's lecture was to tell you that how this DOM works and this is the main way how, way how we work with the DOM so I hope you understood the concept very clearly right now one more thing I want to uh, show you is that I want to change the CSS also right so change style how the CSS can be changed for any uh, element with the help of this DOM well for that let's let's take this output right this output means what your paragraph and I want to say that change its color right so for changing its color what we will do we will write the style right if, even in the internal CSS also what we do we use the style tag similarly here also we use this style output dot style and then we write this the CSS property let's say color right after that we will put our equals to and then we will write our color whichever color you want let's say yellow right yellow I think it should be small yeah right and uh, let's say that uh, we want to change the font size also fine so for that also you can write output dot output dot style dot font size and then you will write whatever uh, font size you want like 20 pixel right yeah now let's see on our main website here if I write the uh, name let's say Piyush and when I click on it you can see now I'm getting the changed font size and the color of the paragraph has also been changed how it is done well I changed the CSS with the help of your DOM so this is how you change the CSS also for that you need to understand that I need to put this style and then I write the CSS property and then I write the value of that particular CSS property so this is how your DOM works with your HTML and with your CSS I hope you understood the concept clearly thank you so much for watching we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye